Welcome back. Today is Global Recycling Day. It's a day to highlight the important role recycling plays in protecting the planet. Now, of course, the process isn't always perfect. We don't always know if that plastic bottle we're throwing in the bin is actually being recycled. But a Bay Area company is using AI technology to improve those odds. Lorreen Ayub shows us how recycling robots could be an absolute game changer for this industry. While some folks are worried about the negative effects of AI, here at Glacier, an AI robot is helping to improve recycling. I'm in San Francisco where one powerful female founder has a positive vision for a sustainable future. It's not just trash, it's organized trash. And in the world of recycling, that means everything. Rebecca Hu, alongside her co-founder, Areed Malik, has created an innovative way to reduce waste using robotic AI sensors. Entitled Glacier, Rebecca's creation makes it easier for recycling infrastructures to recover more items that might have ended up in landfill or in oceans. The idea for Glacier came about four or five years ago, um, and it was actually directly a result of a lot of the headlines and the news that we were seeing around the climate crisis. But it wasn't just the headlines that spoke to Rebecca's heart. Growing up as a first-generation American, Rebecca has always been more mindful of waste and very confused with a society fixated on hyperconsumption. My parents are actually immigrants from China, and so I was raised with a very particular mentality towards waste. In particular, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle was a constant mantra in our household. Anytime we used up, you know, a tub of margarine or something like that, the instinct was never to just toss it out in the recycling or even the trash. It was always to wash it out and then use it as a storage container for some other purpose. Rebecca took those values in her upbringing with her to the lab and now with advanced AI camera sensors, her recycling tools being used not just in her Bay Area home, but also throughout the nation, from New Jersey to Arizona and more. And studies show such a tool continues to be necessary. Currently, only 21% of recyclable material is captured. According to UC Berkeley's Professor O'Neill, conservation efforts in the U.S. remain urgent. We're still struggling in terms of building new recycling facilities, of getting people on board with recycling. Um, so I, I, I feel like in many ways we're still kind of stuck in where we were a few years ago. Which is why Rebecca says her mission is so critical. We want to design something that is immediately and fundamentally useful to all of the biggest players within the circular economy. Her effective waste management solution even caught the eye of Amazon. They also ended up being one of her customers, utilizing her invention on their own packaging. We have lived on the front lines of trying to fix some of the challenges in packaging for decades. And it's rare to find an individual like Rebecca that can clearly see how that can be possible today. Rebecca's now serving as an inspiration to her growing startup team. She has hired a diverse team of men and women who all share a passion for treating the planet well. Every piece of progress that I and that we as Glacier are making, it makes me all the more motivated to really get out there and be the change that I wish to see in the world. The kind of change that can benefit the whole wide world. So the AI robot can identify more than 30 different materials and pick up 45 items in a minute. It can sort items like grocery and trash bags, which can be difficult to sort through with traditional screening technology.